Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing vinyasa for forgiveness. I figured it's a really appropriate theme for the time of the year but it's an appropriate theme for any time in life when we need to come to a closure or to accept the past, forgive others and forgive ourselves in order to move forward because we're coming up to the new year and around the winter solstice it's gonna be a time of accounting the past and moving forward and accepting the mistakes or the challenges or whatever happened and appreciating the good stuff the blessings and also with that finding in our heart a place of forgiveness and lightness so that we can move forward into the new year with light. Lightness and light, <laughs> both. All right, let's flow with strength and ease. And we're going to come to the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, Taking a nice breath in and finding lightness in your breath and in your body. Don't force the lightness, but slowly cultivate it or slowly discover it because it's in there. So finding that place in you because you are everything. Every quality that's out there, it's in you as well. It just it's in different proportion. So finding the lightness within, no matter how you think you feel, heavy, sad, excited etc it doesn't matter there is the quality of lightness in there and let's tap in nice deep inhalations and complete and slow exhalations I'm feeling a pull from the crown of the head up, lifting up, becoming taller and finding even more lightness in your physical body. Lightness on the physical, on the physical plane. Feel your feet becoming lighter as if you're stepping on clouds and just floating here with lightness. Withdrawing from the external and going in, feeling the body, feeling the breath, observing the breath, observing the inner processes. going to inhale the arms out step your feet about hip width apart maybe a little wider and we're just going to move side to side with no particular pattern just softening no particular alignment just lightness ease flow fluidity 
focus on the ease here and reach over the head and just imagine you're a tree a young tree in the wind and the wind is soft and mellow and you're just enjoying the flexibility of your body yielding to the forces of nature, the wind, in harmony. Finding peace in the nat nature, in the natural environment around you. And now maybe begin to move side to side, just a gentle twist. Everything follows, hip follow, knee follow. There is no alignment here. Pure fluidity dance, the dance of the forest. And let's come in to a uh, still, hands over the heart. Still, inviting emptiness within. Finding that deep within place where you connect to the deep aspects of you, your deep truths, the universal love, the universal grandness, God within, that place within you where there is such peace and everything makes sense there. Take a big breath through the heart. Exhale through the feet, letting go. Take a big breath through the heart, fill it in with sunshine. Exhale through the feet. And again, taking a deep breath through the heart. Imagine a golden spiral there, light, gold, light, spiraling light. And as you exhale, muddy water, uh, maybe dusty air, however you want to envision it. Inhaling gold light, exhaling whatever is not needed anymore. Inhaling, filling your heart, your soul, your body with light. Exhaling, letting go. Sometimes regret, remorse holding grudges, those things are just sinking our energy and collapsing our heart. So let's expand the heart and let them go. They don't serve us anymore. Forgiving within and without yourself and others, inward and out outward. projecting forgiveness into the world and soaking up forgiveness, radiating forgiveness, allowing it in, letting it, allowing, allowing, because it is there, we have to allow it. Tapping into it, tapping into that wave frequency of forgiveness that some people are tapped into and we're invited there as well. Because we're ready, we've done the work, we've learned the lessons, 
and we're ready to move into the new year or the new life or the new chapter with openness, forgiveness, lightness, readiness to learn, readiness for the new, acceptance of the old, And you can blink your eyes open, smile, and inhale the hands over the head. Exhale over the third eye, over the lips, over the throat. You can tap it gently, over the heart. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale down over the heart. One more time, inhale big, exhale down, inhale chair, exhale keep the knees bent, lower down, forward fold, shake your head, look to the left and right, relax the shoulders and allow your hands to be really heavy, the arms are hanging, maybe resting on the floor. Great, straighten the legs and walk your hands up the legs, maybe underneath the knees, maybe above the knees. Just take a really nice L, let her pose here and lengthen through the crown of the head, back of the neck lengthening. Great, pull the belly in, let's take a plank. Plank is always the reminder of alignment, integrity, self-worth. Self-worth is such a beautiful quality because then we see the worth in everything around us, the value of others. Squeezing the inner thighs towards the midline, we're going to take a really strong chaturanga and a really open upward dog. and chaturanga, down dog, walk in place, inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge, Exhale down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, breathe. Exhale down, really press into the thumb and the index and the space between them. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog. Breathe. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Warrior one, breathe. Exhale down. Thumbs and index fingers on your mind. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Remember your hand alignment because we do we do a lot of planks and down dogs and chaturangas and you want to strengthen the wrists. Big breath in, left leg up, step it through. Warrior one, straight back, come up. 
breath. Exhale down. Inhale, up dog. Hold and exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Step it through, warrior two. Big breath in, exhale down, inhale up top, hold, exhale down dog, inhale the left leg up, warrior two. Big breath in, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down dog, walk your hands to your feet, grab your ankles, folding, Inhale, hands on the shin bones, look ahead of you, pull the belly in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up, walk your hands to the front. Down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Hands in prayer, twist. Breathe. No striving, finding stillness. Inhale up. Exhale down. Vinyasa. Inhale, left leg up. High lunge. Twist on an exhalation. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, dog. Exhale down, dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Big breath in, exhale the hands over the heart, twists, 
Now here you might want to just grab your knee and just keep your back foot down. So work with whatever variation you need to, to just deepen that twist. You can even go halfway, keep the back heel as far down as you can. It is a very demanding posture. Exhale, down, plank, chaturanga. Down dog. Big breath in, left leg comes up, step it through. Warrior one. Hands over the heart as you exhale, find your posture. No competition, no striving, just soften into the twist. Back, vinyasa. Down dog. Shake your head. Soften the face muscles, soften the skin on the face and the jaw. Softening the jaw. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior two. Hands in prayer, lower down, elbow on the inside of the right knee and straighten here. Really lengthen the torso. Keep opening the left rib cage, spinning it open towards the ceiling. Release the hands down and step it back. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it on. Warrior two. Hands in prayer. Lengthen the torso. Externally rotate the right hip. Lower down and keep opening, shoulders stacking on top of each other, pressing the shoulder blade back, the right shoulder blade. Find lightness in your torso, in your upper body. Release. Vinyasa. Down dog. Lifting the tailbone as high as you can. Breathe. Let's walk the hands to the back of the mat. Bend the knees. The feet are hip width apart. Chair, hands in prayer. Lengthen the torso, soften, loosen. Take a big breath in. Exhale, 
left elbow to right knee and the knees remain in the same line, in the same line. Soften the torso, soften the core. Inhale, up to center, opposite side. Back to center, reach over the head, walk your hands to the front, down dog. Inhale, right leg up, step it through. High lunge. I exhale the hands behind, soften the shoulders, open the chest. Exhale, lower down. Prayer or humble warrior. Bringing the forehead towards the floor. It's a sign of, it's a pose of humility. Soften the shoulders, soften the breath. Inhale, coming up, shifting the weight onto the right leg. Bring the left ankle over the right leg, soften the hip here. And let's lower down. You can stay here or you can choose to go into an arm balance. Tapping into that airborne or lightness, airiness of the body. And you can just tap your foot off the floor or straighten it and shift forward. And step it back. Plank, chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through, high lunge. And exhale the hands behind, reverse the clasp. Reach down the right leg, soften the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, coming up, shifting, standing on the left leg. Take a stage that's appropriate for you here. This is stage one. Stage two is bending forward. Stage three is working the shin bone on top of the triceps. And stage four is taking the left, the leg of the floor, tapping it and holding here. And stage five would be shifting that leg towards the back of the room and Staying like a bird here in plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. Exhale the hands behind, walk them down the left leg, soften the hips, let them blossom forward lengthen the lower back above the tailbone so the lower back is lifting away from the tailbone and the chest is lifting lengthening the spine and same goes for the neck shoulder blades are firmly pressing in and inward And humble warrior, press your back heel down and lower down.
and release the hands on the inside of the right foot. Walk your right shoulder underneath the right knee and take a stage, any stage from here onto the arm balance. You can stay here or you can lower down, stay with one leg lifted, both legs lifted, one knee bent. Step it back and up dog. And down dog. Big breath in, left leg comes up. Step it through, warrior one. Exhale, the hands behind, reverse the clasp. And walk the hands down the leg, really vibrant and open chest. It's also a sign of pride or self-acceptance, pride in its positive aspects of no shame, of expressing who we are and sharing that with the world. Not hiding. And lower down. Humble warrior. When we're accepting who we are, it is good to be done with humility. Let's release the hands down. Take any stage of this. If you're gonna fly or be light or airborne, take your shoulder as deep underneath the knee as you can. It helps with the pose. And you can take just one leg off the floor and keep it bent. Take the other and do what you can here. And Sorry, Sophie, and <laughs> lower out in Chaturanga. Upward dog, Chaturanga, downward dog. <sighs> Pressing into the inside aspect of your hands. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior two. And let's reverse it, walk the left hand down the left leg and really lengthen here. Coming out, reaching over the head, lining up your hips and torso here. So the right knee is gonna face directly forward and remain there. And your left hip is gonna open to line up with the other joints. And we're going to lean forward and reach over the head. And you can be way high here or lower down appropriately. and lower the right hand underneath, right shoulder underneath the right knee. Bring your foot off the floor, tap it off the floor maybe, and you can straighten if you feel ready for this. 
I'm a little glidey here, so maybe I won't straighten them. A little glidey. All right, that's as far as I want to go today. And step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, warrior two. And let's walk the right hand down the right leg. Finding freedom, free up some space in the rib cage. Coming out, reaching over the head. Open that right hip, externally rotate. You need a really strong grip here. Front of the mat and lower down. Great, lower the right, the left shoulder underneath the knee and see what stage you want to go in. Lift, straighten. That's not a full straightening for me and I'm good with that. Don't strive, just be where you're at. That's good enough for me. And plank, chaturanga. Up dog, knees on the ground. Again, where you're at, honor it. If you can do another chaturanga without the knees down, do it. Walk your feet back, or walk your hands back to the feet, and take a yogic squat. When I'm very empty minded, my words start to scramble. That's not a good sign for teaching, but a great sign for practice because I disassociate with the words, which means the breath becomes the focus and the emptiness. But I'm present here with you. We're moving all together, maybe in different times, but somehow connected, ethereally connected. Let's clasp behind the right leg. Clasp behind the left knee. Soften, release, walk to the front. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, high lunge. Clasping the hands, index finger pointing. Shift into warrior three, hold it, level the hips. Bend the knee if you need to. Back to high lunge. Exhale down, plank, chaturanga, up dog. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Shifting into warrior three. Level the hips. Flex the foot. Turn the toes down. Lift that back heel up. This is quite challenging. Breathe. You can bend the knee in order to keep the hips level. And the back and the belly engaged. Step it back, high lunge. Exhale down, plank. Pull the belly in, chaturanga, up dog. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up, 
step it through warrior one can you notice the progression right hand on the right hip and shift into half moon here lift and hold really lengthen that right rib cage away from the hip shoulder away from the hip lifting the back foot up glide it down into revolving triangle lower the chest over the right leg bring your left leg up standing half splits plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog inhale the left leg up stay petro warrior one left hand to the left hip revolving half moon really lift lengthen Glide it down, revolving triangle, Parivrita Trikonasana. This is for the kidneys, for your kidneys, this pose, great. Exhale down, lift it, standing half splits. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog. I'm gonna do knee Chaturanga here and there, Down Dog. Knee, hold the right leg up. Warrior Two. exuberant warrior to breathing through the heart focusing on the community aspect of our practice we're all together in this practice we're all at this moment of the class different times but time doesn't matter outside of this dimension so we're all together practicing and feeling that togetherness that connectedness that oneness there is a thousand other people doing this pose with you shifting into half moon reach back grab your ankle open bring both hands down on the floor and bring your left knee in you can bring it out extending the leg out through the heel a couple of times strengthening the hip muscle here and step it back plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog big breath in left leg comes up step it through warrior two lightness through the heart breathing breathe you can check in with your knee 
touch your torso check in with your hips This class is great for teachers too because it's minimal cues. Sometimes with adjustments now they have gained a bad rap, but with adjustments, sometimes I just use adjustments and you can do this to yourself. It's where you see tension in the body. You just bring a hand there and the muscles relax, soften and the pose deepens. So sometimes you can check in with your alignment. You become the teacher, you become your guide. You learn to listen, to feel. And we're gonna shift to half moon. Flex your foot and continue opening that, spinning that rib cage open, lengthening the left side. So we're not collapsing one side, the bottom side. We're lengthening there. Now you can reach back and grab your ankle. All right, from here. Bend the knee and keep your knee out to the side and you can extend the leg either all the way or halfway through the heel, kind of like martial artists, but through the heel and step it down, forward bend. Inhale straight back and come up. Exhale, hands over the heart. Inhale, sweeping. Exhale, folding. Grab your big toes, straighten. Exhale, down. Stick your hands underneath your feet. Press your toes down onto the wrists. Lower down, soften. Inhale, look ahead, release. Grab your, thread your right hand behind the right leg and all the way to the shin bone opposite side. This is very optional. Not everybody has this particular flexibility and you don't need to, but if you do, enjoy the pose. If not, you can just hold here. We really don't need to be flexible in each and every way. We just need to maintain what we have. So we age gracefully and we have a quiet, peaceful place within that we can go tap in when we need to. It's always for developing a deeper, more soulful character and a deeper connection to the divine, to God or to truth or love. It is really not about the monkeying around or being an acrobat. All right, squat down, keep holding your big toes and sit back, booty on the ground, release. Woohoo, I never thought I'd be able to do this pose after pregnancy, but here I am. And lower down in plow. Shoulder stand. Right leg bends, left leg reaches forward, bridge, opposite side. And shoulder stand. Knees over the ears.
out of this slowly press your lower back down and take a little core pose now here i conveniently can use the wall if i want to to ease my position so that just if you need to let's bring one knee in opposite knee in and here we'll need a little space lower down lower down squeeze 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 the belly great let's bring one leg in half lotus and either stay here or bring the other one in half lotus and here you can give your body a little lift and shift into half lotus shoulder stand and shimmy your shoulders and bring your hands onto the knees balance here slowly coming down if you can keep your lotus and lower down and let's bring the hands underneath the hips top of the head on the floor smile soften the face muscles come up to sit it and if you can keep your lotus do so smile big Take an exhalation with a ha. Kind of taking whatever is left in your body that load off. All right. Even if that's the last bits of resentment <laughs> or lack of forgiveness, kind of let it go. You don't need it. It's not going to serve you much. So let it go, be light, be happy. That will feed back into you, give you. And shall we do a little, uh, one more airborne <laughs> pose since we're light and elbows into the belly. Feel free to stay here, that's okay. You're just massaging your belly here or you can come out and lift up. You can do down dog here with the palms of the hands reversing, not a full down dog, of course. Keep your elbows bent and just stretch as far as you want to or you need to. Lower the knees down. Let's bring the top of the hand down and sit back. You want full, full contact with the floor here, the wrist, I'll show you on the other side, full contact, elbows slightly bent so that we're not hyperextending anywhere and we're stretching along both sides, we're not overstretching one side which can, you, it will not feel good if you overstretch just one side. All right, let's bring the hand back towards the same thing, full contact. So you're not gonna sit as far back as you would think you would because you're keeping everything aligned here opposite side if this is really intense for you you can do it on a wall and you will control how far up you're walking your hand same with this side you can walk it further up when you're ready so that about gives you a little extra stretch in the forearm really good for writers people on computer all right down dog mm -hmm. 
soles of the feet together, coming down onto the booty. Forward fold. Double pigeon. Lightness in the hips. Feeling your body, feeling where you hold your emotions, where you hold your the heavier emotions. Those ones like resentment and grudge and holding on to the past and lack of appreciation. Those those ones feeling where you feel stuck in the body, where it doesn't feel as airy and light and free and flowing and just you kind of avoid that place and you you know it's heavy there so just kind of lightening there Softening with the exhalation, softening. If you're ready, take that light spiral out of the hips. If you feel that you've sufficiently brought light in and gotten residue out, opposite side, allowing yourself to forgive, to forgive yourself, to forgive others. That uh, saying that lack of forgiveness is like, or resentment is like drinking poison and expecting to, your enemy to die from it. So we owe ourselves to maintain our emotions clean and bright and light. Beautiful. And extend the legs in front of you, wider than hip width apart, reach back. This is gonna be our alignment twist. And sitting in half lotus or in a sukhasana on a pillow or on the floor if you are comfortable on the floor. Uh, your hands power in the hands, just charging the hands, bring the energy from your body into the hands and into the toes even and imagining a pink spiral into the third eye. We're going to arm with the eyes closed and imagining the spiral of pink light because arm is the sound of the universe. There is those light spheres in the universe and they vibrate at the sound, at the vibrations of OM. OM, it's actually pronounced AUM, A U M, A U M. So it's AUM more so, and that's the original sound of the universe that's the because universe means one verse one sound and that is the sound that originally appeared and it's across the board in all religions but if it's uh, something that it sounds just too weird for you then just take it as a nice tale or a story or a visualization or a fairy tale <laughs> and i will invite my partner Johnny to join me on the OM sound 
because he's a singer, so his own is, it, it's his thing. He has a little better sound and uh, enjoy your arms, take three ones. And if you can't do a loud one, do a silent one in your mind. <laughs> Keeping the eyes closed, he held the hands over the head. Bring your hands over the third eye. Take a big breath in through the third eye. And as you exhale, blink your eyes open. And bring the hands over the heart. Bowing to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, the flow with strength and ease.